We are basically reading a memoir in the fantasy world. That's what this is. Well, hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're talking about The Name of the Wind by Patrick Rothfuss. Yes, we are going there. <laughs> okay, so this is pretty well known, but if you don't know this, this is a great fantasy book. It's supposed to be a trilogy, but we only have the first two books. Which makes me a little bit crazy, but we're going to talk about it anyways, because I need to let it all out, all of my emotions. I have so many. <laughs> uh, this is quite an interesting book, quite an interesting read. If you like fantasy, I think you will like this, because high fantasy, deep in the core, I mean, ah, I just, I really like this one. Now, I do have to warn you, if you are looking for like a high, um, highly packed action just like Star Wars, pew pew pew, uh, all the time, just like lasers, like lasers, like flowing around everywhere and everyone fighting 24 seven, this is not going to be it. It definitely has some interesting, super hype moments <laughs> when you're like, oh my God, oh my God, but it is not that. It's just not going to be super fast uh, read, it's not going to be, a lot of action in it but it is really good and it is really gripping which I think is the interesting thing about this now it is really beautifully written I mean Patrick Rothfuss has this amazing way of <laughs> telling a story and just suck you in it and it is just so so beautiful the thing that we are looking at in this book is we are following this character code quote really weirdly written name by the way um, but we're following him through his adventures now we know that he is a really big hero he has a lot of names like quote the bloodless quote the king killer um and many many more you know and we are following his story we have this character called chronicler who goes to different places just finding stories to write and he finds quote which he's right now and sort of like when we start the book he's sort of hiding and nobody knows if he's actually even real because he's been hiding and not and like basically out of sight for a while now so chronicler is obviously really interesting to write his story and that's why we have a trilogy um every single book is one day he says you know what if i'm gonna tell my story i'm gonna be like super descriptive about it <laughs> and it definitely is the book is really phenomenal in that way because we're really seeing every single little thing that this hero goes through and when we are like unraveling all of these uh names that he has you know like quote the bloodless when we find out how he got to be <laughs> called that it's even kind of funny because it's not as you've imagined when you hear this like the bloodless you you're imagining something supernatural and this character must be not from this earth <laughs> you know and it's not like that and that's i think the really interesting part about this book as well so we're following his story and one of the main reasons why this is so beautifully written is because quote is telling his story himself so uh chronicler is writing down every single word of it and that's why we get to read this now quote's story is just phenomenal in my opinion i know a lot of people say that it is really slow and that there's parts in the book that are completely like why are there why why are they in there like people don't understand this but i do totally think that this is exactly why the book is made we are following a hero from the very beginning before all of this craziness starts before we have him being named and you know baptized as as a hero as all of these names we are following how he got to be this it is a tragic story i mean he i don't want to spoil it i don't want this to be a spoiler thing or a spoiler review but it it has a really it has really deep um topics in it as well so poverty is one of them especially um kids living in this situation it is really nice the way that it is written because I think it also brings a little bit of awareness as well. Um, 
and it's something that not a lot of people talk about because I guess it is really uncomfortable to talk about it but it is definitely in there which I love his family is taken from him while he was really little and also in a really awful way and he just has to overcome all of this stuff uh, another thing that is just really beautifully written in this book is uh, the way the author talks about music when he plays the lute is a way of him to just basically go back into his childhood where, where he felt safe and protected and also he's trying to make money out of it to pay for university which is another of the topics I mean he is poor he doesn't have money to go to university and university as we all know it in the real world as well is very expensive so to see the way that he makes that possible is also really interesting I think the thing about this character even though I don't think the main thing about this book is the characters but this character is absolutely fascinating he's really smart not just in like an academic way but as well as in life because he's gone obviously through so much that we really see how he grows from it how he learns from it and how all of the legends of him are written are kind of ridiculous when you think about it because it's not just like a one-time thing I'm super brave I'm gonna run and you know save the world it is a lot of things that he has to go through that are not that great to get that understanding and to get to that place where he is able to defeat a lot of the problems that are thrown at him so really interesting the freaking magic uh -uh -uh. yes the magic on this book is fantastic is phenomenal it, it's like a mixture of alchemy chemistry and magic so the magic here is called uh, sympathy and basically uh, we have like it, it's a way to bind objects together so if you think of a rock and you think of a person you have to think what do they have in common and a lot of the time it is like chemistry and what the materials are made of or, or anything like that so you bind them together you have to get energy from a source to bind them together and that way you can affect one through like um, the manipulation of the other thing and it's just it, it is really interesting the magic is absolutely I think one of the most amazing things about this book because it feels even though it is magic it feels realistic in a way that before we were you know talking about science and all of that stuff we were truly working with alchemy and trying to you know <laughs> discover of the secret of living forever and all of that through alchemy and through the composition of things so it felt really realistic in the way that yeah this is a mindset that people could get behind you know before science and definitely after it I guess as well it is really kind of realistic and also a really interesting way for sure to manipulate to manipulate things uh, we obviously our hero quote is really good at sympathy and we get really good scenes of him using it and uh, explaining it so that we can understand it in a really beautiful way as well just as Patrick Rothfuss always writes in my opinion at least I also read this uh, book described as a high fantasy memoir how cool is that yeah for sure we are basically reading a memoir in the fantasy world that's what this is also a really interesting about this book at least for me is that we don't have this fight like the hero is not fighting good and evil it is not black white um, it is just a story which makes it feel so realistic <laughs> in a way because we don't have like you know the big bad wolf and we have to defeat this person because he's bad and evil we don't have that it is really uh, a, a flowing thing of how all of these legends of him are not him defeating anything like evil it's just him again going through obstacles and just like defeating not evil but the obstacles and the awful things thrown at him definitely unique fantasy definitely well-written fantasy 
gripping story, great characters, something that I loved the way that this author talked about is books when he gets into the university. There's this huge place called the Arcanum and it's full with books and the way that he describes the whole Arcanum and the books and the way that this character loves the books is just almost as the way that he loves music, the way that things, these two things are described are just really amazing. Will I continue with this series? Yes, as soon as the third book is out because I don't want to read the second book and then be like, what am I gonna do now? <laughs> Um, so I'm waiting for that, I don't know how long I'm gonna have to wait, probably a while. But I would totally recommend to read this. If you're, again, if you're looking for something like action-packed, this might not be for you because this is definitely, it feels sometimes even slow-paced, but in a really beautifully written way that I think you will totally enjoy. It's totally recommend, huge favorite of mine now. Um, so yeah, that will be it for this video. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching. Please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed this. Leave in the comments down below if you read this book, what you think about it, if you want to read it or not and why. Uh, <laughs> I mean, no question, but what, why? <laughs> what do you want to read this? Uh, um, what else? Um, and please, please, I was forgetting, but you cannot. Don't forget to subscribe uh, if you want more book reviews and bookish related content. Um, so yeah, again, thank you so much for watching and I will see you readers on my next video. Bye. <laughs>